Hockey Day Minnesota coming up on Saturday. Three games, one of them including Hill Murray against White Bear Lake, a, a good rivalry game as Hockey Day Minnesota takes place in White Bear Lake. Mitch Widmeyer here, Bally Sports North. Happy to be joined by Hill Murray Pioneers coach Bill Lechner. Coach, we appreciate the time. Uh, kind of start things off. What's it mean for your team and your program to be participating and playing in one of the three games on Saturday in Hockey Day, Minnesota? Yeah, well, obviously it's it's an honor. And, uh, you know, we're glad to participate and be thought of that we get the opportunity to play. Um, and, and especially, you know, it's it's White Bear, which is a longtime rival and kind of tradition and, uh, you know, used to be in the conference and then in the section and, so yeah, it's 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 we're excited and uh, ready to be a participant. You mentioned the familiarity with White Bear Lake. I know you guys met up twice last year, once in the regular season, once once I believe was in the the section championship. You guys took both of those uh, matches. I talked with uh, White Bear Lake's head coach Tim Sager earlier in the week, and he had mentioned once the um, the venue was announced for Hockey Day Minnesota this year that it was, he worded it, the worst kept secret that it would be your team, Hill Murray, against White Bear Lake. How big is this rivalry, and is it kind of the cherry on top that not only are you and your pioneers playing in Hockey Day Minnesota, but it's also against a rival like White Bear Lake? Yeah, well, through the years, and if you look at the history books, and, and it's varied in advance of this through a few other people, uh, you know, years ago, we were in the same conference as well and now we're not. So it might've had, you know, like a hundred percent rivalry because we play each other home and away during the year. Uh, and then in the sections to go to state, now we're in different conferences, but we wanted to keep the tradition on. So we, uh, usually we play at Christmas. So, you know, when everybody's home and we fill all the arena or wherever the venue is, um, and you know, it's a big game for the communities and, it just caught on probably I've been doing this over 40 years. It probably it caught on before me. So uh, white bear Hill and we're honored to play in it. And then it's uh, yeah, it's just, it's just what it is. So it'll be exciting and, and a, and a fun game to be a part of. Bill Lechner, head coach Hill Murray pioneers, boys hockey, joining us triple header Saturday, hockey day, Minnesota Hill Murray, white bear Lake will play at four thirty PM. That's scheduled puck drop on Bally Sports North. As for your team coach, haven't lost in a couple of weeks. Does it feel like you guys are sort of starting to figure out and put the pieces of the puzzle together? Um, well, just without without anybody looking for sympathy or just, uh, you know, just stating facts. Uh, the last few years we've been, you know, whether it be a double-A state champion or in 2021 we weren't allowed to play because of certain COVID situation, not with us, but with somebody else. And then uh, last year we took third in the state. Well, about oh, two thirds of that group, they graduated. So we were pretty young this year. Uh, and of the six, seven returners, five of them had some serious injuries early in the year. So we're getting, we're gradually, the last couple of weeks are getting one or two of them back at a time. We're not quite back yet with them. So uh, a lot of youth, the positive of that is the young ones got a lot of experience. And our schedule, uh, if anybody's watching, our schedule is very, very tough. Uh, I, you know, through the years to make a very tough non-conference schedule. Um, you know, we played, if you look at the top 10 in the state, we will or have played them all, if not once, sometimes twice. And so, um, you know, it makes you battle tested and ready. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, our record is not what we like it to be. I think we're seven, eight and one, but, but we're coming on and we're starting to get the W's where they need be. And the young guys are starting to be, you know, experienced now. I mean, we're playing, eighth graders and ninth graders and 10th graders, which usually we have one or two 10th graders and the rest are juniors and seniors. So kind of a youth movement this year, but uh, the guys are starting to respond and we're getting the older ones back little by little. As for this matchup on Saturday uh, against White Bear Lake, I saw some some teases on uh, your team's Twitter page for the, the sweaters. Are you guys going retro with the look for this one? Yeah, if you look, uh, it's actually going back to, and some, a couple of my coaches wore those uniforms. Um, so the, the long story short is back in the day, uh, a, a Steichen Sporting Goods store t uh, was the uh, contract for the Minnesota North Stars when they wore the green and white and gold. And that was our school colors. And so when the North Stars would turn in their used jerseys, uh, they would, you know, we, they would take the, the star off it or the N and then put HM on it. 
And so we basically wore, so it's kind of interesting now, you know, the Minnesota wild ha- has their retro or their green and white. And well, that was our uniforms. So we duplicated our uniforms from the eighties and they pretty much match what the wilds were. And it never says HM instead of, instead of the wild logo, but um, that's, so we just went back to that was the uniform and the colors. And somehow through the years, the, the gold dropped off and black entered. So technically our uniforms now have black, green, and white in them. Um, but yeah, that, so back to the basic of the 80s is the gold and the black is out and the gold is in. Yeah, it looks super, super sharp. Uh, Bill Lechner with us, Hill Mary Pioneers boys hockey coach. A couple more for you before we uh, get you out of here. Anything change at all with your team when you're playing, when you're playing outdoors and, and in the elements? Or is it kind of just like... Hey, drop the puck. Let's get it going. It's kind of business as usual. Or are there any things you have to adapt to at all? Yeah. Um, well, you know, obviously it's outdoor ice and the weather's going to be, it sounds like it's going to be a little chilly, but, uh, you know, so as far as their apparel, how to, how to dress appropriately to still be able to play the game of hockey and not walk around like a Michelin man or whatever, you know, (laughs) a little bit of that. Um, but it's still a hockey game and the event we've been in these a few times and you know they're growing in popularity they're growing in accessories you know it's it's gotten very cosmetic and there's a lot of games and a lot of atmosphere and tents and you name it um and for the kids it's you know they're still kids so we got to try and find that line that once you get to the rink it's a hockey game because it's a big important game for white bear hill and and it has a factor on the you know the scheduling and the the um for the seating for the sections which is, so it's an important game. So it's, you kind of got to balance the fine line between having fun and a great day and the experience versus the puck's got to drop and you got to play between the glass. Last one for you. You mentioned familiarity with the the event in the past and you you brought up the word atmosphere a couple of times in that that last response. What, what are you expecting atmosphere-wise on Saturday? It sounds like it's going to be crazy. Um, I live about four or five blocks from the rink. So I can wow. walk over there, but, um, and I see all the projects going on and, you know, the surroundings are very familiar. It's literally my backyard and, you know, with the parking and the atmosphere and the tents and the excitement and the, the build in the community. Um, so it's, it sounds like it's going to be quite massive, very well done. A lot of people involved, uh, crazy crowded, but we'll get in and try and uh, represent and play a hockey game. Hill Murray head coach Bill Lechner, his Pioneers will take on White Bear Lake in the third of the three games on Saturday. Puck drop scheduled for 4.30 p.m. Coach, thank you for the time and best of luck on Saturday. I appreciate it. Take care. Again, you can find all three matchups Saturday on Bally Sports North.